Hello Pisces, welcome to your September general reading 2021. My name is Donna and I have channeled messages for you. The first message that I have Pisces is that for a lot of our watery element friends, um, you are you have a relationship on your mind. It can be any kind of a relationship. It could be a relative, a parent, a, an adult child or a child. It could be a friend, it could be a lover. But I think for many of you, you've had a falling out with this person. I feel as though someone hurt your feelings or they've done something that really makes you question, you know, your involvement or, or how everything sort of fell apart. I don't think it had much to do with you. I don't think you think it has much to do with you, but it impacted you. And so the message that I'm getting is just to remind you that, you know, whatever is divinely yours can't be taken away. So I don't see this relationship disappearing. I do think you are on a hiatus or a period of time apart so that your person can work through some issues that they're having. I am getting with Neptune and Pisces retrograde, I feel as though, Pisces that you are having a lot of dreams right now whatever dreams that you have are significant and we are going to pull a dream decoder card for you at the beginning of the tarot reading in just a moment I really am seeing that many of you feel as though you're not as stable as you need to be at work and I'm what I'm seeing is you should just take a deep breath know that you know say a positive affirmation about what you have gratitude for because i feel like when you get in your head it becomes a little overwhelming and it pulls you down um you know whenever you say something that shows gratitude it does invoke the laws of attraction you know the power of spirit you live in the most spiritual house that the zodiac has so that is what the channel messages i have for you at this time so we're gonna move right on to your speed shuffle and into your general reading Pisces this looks like a very interesting reading it looks like a very good month for September the energy that I'm getting here for you is that you are looking forward to some sort of travel with a loved one, with a significant other. It is Pisces energy. It is a 10 of cups with the 10 of wands. It looks as though you are waiting for some sort of clearance. That could be dates, vacation dates, dates of travel, good airfare, that sort of thing. But it does look like you will be traveling again with somebody that you adore with somebody that you feel is your happily ever after person i get this energy look at air travel how pretty is that my friends so just hanging around waiting for the opportune moment and that is your energy pisces being very very cool calm and collected I do have a dream decoder card for you. So that's the overall energy of the reading and the dream decoder card that I pulled out was being lost or losing something. And dreams are all about, that are being lost are about, I can't even see these are my new reading glasses. Okay. Being lost or losing something. Dreams about being lost or trying or and failing to find something or someone are obviously anxiety related. In waking life, you may be feeling confused or directionless or that you don't fit in or aren't up to the task or situation. The dream should prompt you to take an honest look at your life to identify what's causing such feelings if you lose someone you know in a dream, perhaps he or she represents aspects of yourself you feel you're losing touch with. Losing keys or a phone may symbolize a sense of exclusion. If you lost an item that is precious or indispensable, it shows that it could stand for a broken or interrupted relationship. Perhaps you need to give yourself time to grieve, let go, heal, before you can move forward. Dreams of abandonment tend to have similar meanings since loss is often perceived as abandonment at a deep psychological level. All right. So Pisces, we have 
the energy at the heart of the reading. I'm going to give you the table shot. Okay. So here we have your reading, and we're really looking at the energy now of the Hierophant. This is a very happy reading for the most part. I do see a little, a couple of rough spots here, but you are going to have a really good month. So the month of September is bringing in a lot of happiness, joy, celebration. It looks like you could be going to a party, meeting with good friends, family, that sort of thing. You could be attending a wedding for a few of you, but it looks like you're going to be money conscious. You're going to, you know, you're not going to overindulge too much. You are going to be careful with what you do with your coin. You're also keeping to yourself in terms of your emotions at this time. The King of Wands says that you are starting some sort of new business adventure or venture, and it looks as though it may come out quite suddenly. You may have someone approach you with an offer, a King of Wands type character who has a very good reputation in history and business uh, somebody, you will not invest your money, but they're asking you to invest your skill set as you move forward. It comes again, like I said, out of the blue, but it is an absolutely wonderful opportunity. Now, what's interesting about this is that you feel sad leaving something behind, but you do feel as though you have to leave something behind. I think for many of you, you have been somewhat underpaid or a lot underpaid. And so you definitely want to move out of this energy of difficulty or challenge that I see here with the Seven of Swords, seven, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. That's almost like when a, an, an employer is constantly watching you and, and kind of on you and, you know, it's all about performance, more, 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 do it better, do more, do faster. And that's what I get as the energy here for you. And you need to move out of it spiritually for your peace of mind. You're in this energy of the star card. You have some amazing skills, Pisces. When we look at the Queen of Wands energy, this is the, I'm not going to use the word, the B word, but the bad witch of the, of the beautiful tarot cards. We really always speak to the fact that she, as a feminine energy, is very powerful and kick, can kick the fanny of the competition. So, Pisces, what I get is a lot of change going on. Welcome change, change that is overdue, change that you've wanted, and it looks as though it's going to afford you the opportunity to have rock star status in some area of your life you're going to shine brightly hopes and dreams that you've had for your career are coming true and what i love about the reading is that it's going to be a very happy experience for you you have aquarius energy here with hopes and dreams coming true and then you have your own pisces energy right here so at a very deep core level in your heart and in your mind you find a peacefulness and a happiness that is exceptional Pisces. So it's great energy for you. When we get the Six of Wands energy, we see that your ships have already arrived in the harbor. It's only a matter of the day when you learn that they've arrived in the harbor. It's almost like somebody says, hey, they're home, they're home, they're home. The ships have arrived. They've been sailing across the seas, you know, for many months and here they are. So it does look like it, this is going to be a job that is going to be possibly related to a Fortune 500 company, but maybe not. It could simply be a job that really allows you the traditional benefits. It could be 401ks, insurance. It could be a transportation allowance. It's a kind of old fashioned job that we no longer have a lot of in the US. And it's about pensions and security and long term. This is a job that can take you the distance and help you manifest everything that you've ever wanted. So you look as though you take the job sometime in September. At least you learn about it. It looks like the people that you're going to be working with, if I'm reading this correctly, and it'll be different things for different people, but the opportunity, whatever the opportunity is, looks like it's fantastic. It looks like the person you're going to deal with is very reliable. Uh, this person is really a good marketer. They are able to sell 
the concept of whatever you will be doing. I feel for many of you, this might even have something to do with the beverage industry. You know, it could be anything from exotic, like healing drinks. Um, I, they could be libations, you know, even Starbucks sells, I think. I shouldn't mention them. Oh God, I don't wanna get sued. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that out, okay. So even in the event that this is a libation, it looks like it really provides you with this security that I don't think that some of you have experienced previously. So we're gonna take a look and see what the High Priestess energy is for you, Pisces, and see what Spirit is trying to tell you about this opportunity. Let's see what we have for our dear Pisces friends. All right, we have hidden knowledge, silent understanding the Akashic records. So basically, this is destiny stepping in. There's something about this new opportunity that speaks to the fact that this is meant to have happen for you, that you have a deep level of knowledge. I also feel there's a spiritual core to it. So sometimes when we offer something very mundane, beverages or you know ways to heal, it feels as though it has a healing nature to it. All right, so let's see what's another card that we can get another message. Power over difficulty, reclaiming your power. And look at that. Your Queen of Wands, that's all about reclaiming your power, Pisces, very much. Very powerful energy for you. We're going to take a look at the Moonology Oracle and see what the cyclical element is here for this manifestation. Okay, we have confidence is your key to success, New Moon and Leo, and we have the Leo King. Okay. So we also are going to look, so you really have the confidence to do this. You know your stuff. It's only a matter of putting on that quote unquote shirt and tie, suit, dress, whatever, and showing up because you have the knowledge. You have an exceptional level of knowledge. Go to the sea. It says, take the risk. Be out on your own. For some of you, it may be the opportunity for a franchise. It could be something that's coming along that you will do alone. However, it gives you a lot of stability. Okay, what else do we have for you? One more card for the Wisdom of the Oracle. Yang Energy, go for it. Go for it. All right, that is your message. Pisces, thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. It's how we grow the channel, and I so appreciate your views and your time. Sending you love from Chicago. Thank you. Bye-bye.